Welcome to Quick No Facts, the 1950s, the decade that gave us brutalist architecture and some of the most iconic cars the world has ever seen. Many of the cars of this era were memorable, but others were simply hideous, which we will talk about today, so let's get started. Number 1. Nash Rambler The 1950 Nash Rambler represents a pivotal moment in automotive history where functionality clashed with design aspirations. Manufactured by the Nash Kelvinator Corporation, the Rambler aimed to tap into the burgeoning market for compact vehicles in the post-war era. However, its design choices fell short of expectations. The bathtub body style, reminiscent of larger luxury cars of the time, seemed out of place on the Rambler's smaller frame. Its wheels, almost entirely concealed by the bodywork, contributed to its toy-like appearance rather than projecting sophistication. Despite its advanced engineering features, including a sturdy construction and efficient powertrain, the Rambler failed to capture the essence of automotive elegance expected during its era. Number 2. Studebaker Starlight Coupe The 1950 Studebaker Starlight Coupe embodies a daring departure from conventional automotive design. Building upon the success of the business coupe model, Studebaker introduced a revolutionary feature, four giant windows arranged in an unconventional manner. However, this innovative design element puzzled observers more than it captivated them. Despite the involvement of renowned designer Virgil Exner, the Starlight Coupe failed to resonate with consumers due to its conflicting aesthetics. The arrangement of its glass panels evoked a sense of bewilderment, resembling a car caught in opposing directions. This departure from traditional automotive design principles underscored the challenges of pushing the boundaries of innovation while maintaining consumer appeal. Number 3. Bond Minicar In the realm of affordability and efficiency, the 1952 Bond Minicar emerges as a symbol of practicality tinged with regrettable design choices. Engineered as a British three-wheeler, the minicar sought to address the economic constraints of post-war Britain by offering a compact and fuel-efficient mode of transportation. However, its design fell short of achieving the desired balance between functionality and aesthetics. The addition of faux front fenders, intended to infuse style, inadvertently accentuated the minicar's lack of individual front wheels, detracting from its overall visual appeal. With its modest 8-horsepower engine, and minimalist design, the minicar symbolized the resilience of a nation facing economic challenges, yet its design highlighted the delicate equilibrium between practicality and innovation. Number 4. Nash Healy The 1952 Nash Healy, a collaborative effort between Nash Kelvinator and Healy, initially captured attention as an attractive two-seat roadster. However, its journey took an unexpected turn, with a restyling endeavor led by Batista Pinin Farina. While the core body shape remained largely unchanged, the addition of a grille and headlights within the front fenders distorted its once elegant appearance. This design choice, while intending to modernize the vehicle, gave it an unsettling impression of swallowing another car. Despite its initial potential for elegance, the Nash Healey succumbed to a regrettable design decision, tarnishing its legacy in the annals of automotive history. Number 5. 1954 Buick Buicks of the mid-50s exuded a certain charm with their distinctive portholes and rounded rear wheel arches. However, the 1954 models fell victim to dissatisfaction among General Motors stylists, particularly evident in their front-end design. Despite boasting sleek bodies, the 54 Buicks appeared perpetually downcast, with droopy headlight bezels and grimacing grills conveying a sense of melancholy rather than aggression. If the 54 Buick could articulate its emotions, it might echo the despair of Marvin the paranoid android. Fortunately, the following year heralded a refreshing change, with the 1955 Buick embracing a more appealing visage that complemented its graceful body lines. Number 6. BMW e Citta. The 1955 BMW e Citta, while revolutionary in its automotive packaging, fell short in terms of aesthetic appeal. Resembling a squashed bug, the Assetta lacked the grace and charm expected of automobiles of its time. Originally conceived by the Italian company ESO, renowned for its refrigerators, the Assetta's unconventional appearance raised eyebrows among onlookers. Its peculiar design, reminiscent of repurposed fridge doors, failed to captivate hearts despite its practicality. Fortunately, ESO transferred the baton to BMW, providing the Germans with the opportunity to explore more visually pleasing endeavors in automotive design. Number 7. 1955. Messerschmitt KR200 Post-World War II Messerschmitt transitioned from aircraft manufacturing to automobiles, resulting in the creation of the quirky KR200, bearing a striking resemblance to a covered scooter. The KR200 showcased evident aircraft influences in its design. However, despite its ingenuity, the KR200 failed to meet expectations in terms of design excellence. Its slow performance, noisy operation, and susceptibility to instability 
portrayed it as far from the epitome of automotive innovation. The KR200's existence seemed to mirror a nation grappling with self-punishment, as its impractical design raised questions about Messerschmitt's post-war trajectory. Ultimately, the KR200 paved the way for Messerschmitt to rediscover its roots in aircraft manufacturing, marking a transition from quirky automobiles to more renowned ventures. Number 8. Oldsmobile 98 In the realm of 1950s excess, 1958 was a notable year for Chevrolet, Buick, and Pontiac, each embracing flamboyant design cues. However, Oldsmobile's 1958 lineup left many scratching their heads. It seemed as though the design studio experienced a chaotic explosion, resulting in a haphazard splattering of chrome accents across the body. The Oldsmobile 98's design elements left much to be desired, from the speed-streaked mascara-like headlights to the seemingly random assortment of chrome bits adorning the trunk lid. Despite General Motors' reputation for superior styling during that era, the 58 Olds 98 missed the mark entirely, representing a discordant departure from the brand's otherwise refined aesthetic. Number 9. Ford Anglia Britain's penchant for stoicism was tested with the introduction of the 1959. Ford Anglia, a visual catastrophe that endured for nearly a decade without eliciting much complaint. The Anglia's design suffered from a multitude of flaws, from its sagging roofline to its reverse slanted rear window and truncated trunk. These styling mishaps only accentuated the car's awkward, tall and narrow proportions. If there was ever a reason why Britons embraced public transportation, the Anglia served as a compelling argument. Its design left much to be desired, and being seen in one of these became a testament to one's endurance of visual discomfort. Number 10. The Ford Edsel Amidst the extravagant designs of late 1950s American automobiles, the 1958 models from all Ford divisions stood out for their questionable aesthetics. Despite the general excess of the era, the 1958 Edsel garnered a remarkable level of ridicule from the public. Regardless of whether one examined the larger Citation and Corsair models or the smaller Ranger and Pacer variants, the front end of the Edsel was universally criticized. The wide-set headlights and the center grille invited comparisons to a horse collar in public discussions, while private remarks hinted at a resemblance to intimate feminine anatomy. Please subscribe now to see more interesting videos.